Hello and welcome to this virtual ceremony. My name is Javitos Caballos. I'm the Dean for the Faculty of Science and Technology here at the college. And we are here to celebrate the recipients of the entrance scholarships and the 2019-2020 CPMT scholarships. The entrance scholarships are awarded annually to high school students in recognition of outstanding academic entrance qualifications and are funded by Vanier College and the Vanier College Foundation. The CPMT scholarships are funded by the Commission des Partenaires du Marché du Travail. The purpose of these scholarships, also known as Fonds de Développement de et de Reconnaissance des Compétences de la Main d'Oeuvre, is to increase the enrollment in technical programs, leading to careers where an important uh, need of skilled professionals has been identified uh, and to encourage academic success in those specific programs. And on that note, I would like to introduce Annie-Claude Bonville, the Academic Dean, to say a few words. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We are gathered virtually to congratulate and celebrate a select group of first semester fall 2020 students. For each of our programs, we recognize new students who had the highest high school average in these programs and the three highest averages admitted to Vani. Averages span from 85 to 94. This is truly an accomplishment to be proud of. To our 2020 entrance scholarship recipients, if you sometimes have doubts about all the hard work needed for those few additional points, if you question your numerous revision of papers, your methods of study, color-coded content, revision cards, additional exercises, the use of a tutor on study skills, remember this moment and this recognition of your strength and potential. You bring joy to your family and friends who are proud of you. Keep building your self-esteem and confidence. Your accomplishment is proof that you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You have a solid base on which to build. Our mission at Vanier College is to provide a life-enriching learning experience that prepares students to succeed academically and professionally as engaged citizens of the world. We recognize that behind our students stand family and friends who support and believe in their dreams. With the tools our college will provide, with the precious support of your family, and with your proven determination, I am confident that great success is only steps away. 2020 is a challenging year. We know it's difficult. Remember, you have what it takes to succeed, whatever bump you cross on this path to success. On behalf of Vanier College, I would like to emphasize how delighted we are that you have chosen our college for your CEGEP studies and to wish you the very best ahead. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Isabel Lelil and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of General Education. It is a pleasure for me to uh, be awarding the Vanier Entrance Scholarships. Those scholarships really serve a dual role. First, they reward your past successes and efforts. And second, they are awarded to encourage you to continue to strive for excellence as that path is filled with all kinds of rewards. So congratulations to all students who have been awarded the Vanier Entrance Scholarships in the Fall 2020 in recognition of outstanding entrance qualifications. The first category includes a $500 scholarship awarded to the student with the highest overall average, a $400 scholarship awarded to the student with the second highest overall average, and a $300 scholarship awarded to the student with the third highest overall average. And now, let's hear from our top three students. Being an honor student for me means making school a priority. It's about making sure I understand everything to the fullest. It's not always easy and it requires a lot of hard work and in some cases sacrifices. However, I believe that you can always find a way to enjoy what you do so that it doesn't even feel like work anymore. I also think that it's very important to keep a healthy balance between schoolwork and fun. Seeing your friends and doing extracurricular activities are necessary but it's important to keep a distinction between the time spent doing work and the time spent having fun. For example, there could be weeks where you're only doing work because you have a lot of tests or you have a lot of assignments, but other weeks where you have time to do both. 
And of course, there's summer and, summer and winter breaks where you can you know, spend all of your time relaxing. It's all about making sure you keep your priorities straight. This is definitely challenging, and, but I've come to view challenges as a part of normal life, and I view them positively. Anytime I'm faced with a challenge, whether it's in school or in my personal life, I treat it as an opportunity to grow and to learn, instead of something that's going to bring me down. I believe that there cannot be success without real risk of failure, which is why you need to be resilient and perseverant. If you really want something, you're going to put in the work and you're going to find a way to get it. It all depends on how badly you want it. I'm wishing all current and future students lots and lots of luck and success, and thank you very much. I was asked to talk a bit about what it takes to be an honor student, and in all honesty, I could talk about organization and motivation, but we've all seen those study hack videos on YouTube, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to talk about what's up here, the mind, the brain. Every day, our brains do so much for us. They're the ones studying for exams and doing crazy calculations and memorizing the steps of mitosis. And how do we repay them? We stay up late cramming instead of letting them rest. We do less of the things we're passionate about. We let our mental health take a back seat. And so yes, study hard and hand in your assignments on time, but also treat your mind with kindness. Olympic athletes take insanely good care of their bodies to make sure that they can perform to the best of their abilities. And we should have that same mindset when it comes to taking care of our minds. And that, and that can mean so many different things. It can mean listening to your favorite song, going for a walk, meditating, FaceTiming a friend, seeing a therapist, whatever it takes to keep your mind healthy and happy. And so, as if I were Meryl Streep accepting an Oscar, uh, I'm going to dedicate this scholarship to the behind-the-scenes worker that made this possible. Thank you, Brain, for everything you do for me every day. I promise to take better care of you, and I hope that everyone watching will take better care of their mental health as well. Thank you. Ever since high school, I've been a very, very studious student. I would always study always isolated in my room and to be honest if I had to give one advice to other students is to not do like me. So I was always this person that was always excluded from the others and uh, as I went on I understood that I had to open up and I had to make friends and I had to socialize to be able to do even better in school. I also think there's a part that you need to socialize with others. Obviously you need to work very hard but letting your mind rest sometimes would be just as great um, and that's what I'm doing right now especially with COVID being isolated always in my room always being alone finding the time to go eat with my family or to go talk with a friend is always something that will help me mentally and later be able to learn even more being in honors takes even more effort and has a lot more damage I guess to my mental health because it's so hard so that's why I'm saying that this balance of school and work, of school work, sorry, and fun is very, very important, as well as efforts. And we should always make a lot of efforts to be able to reach our end goals. And I've been told by my very, very close friend many times that I have to take it day by day. So obviously, I have to think of the future in some way. But what happens in the moment and in the present is even more important. important since I can't really control what's going to be in the future. I can only do my best right now. The second category includes a $150 scholarship awarded to the student with the highest overall average in each program, provided it is 85% or above. And the third category includes a $150 scholarship awarded to students with an overall average of 90% or above regardless of their program. Congratulations to all. Hello everyone, my name is Sylvie Tardif. I'm the Dean of Academic System Registrar. Uh, the entrance scholarship you're receiving is actually a celebration of your academic achievement. You've completed high school with flying colors. It also carries the message that we're very proud to have you here as Vanier College students. And on that note, I would like to wish you the best of luck in your studies 
And I know, I'm convinced, I'm sure I will see you in a couple of years across the stage at Place des Arts during graduation. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Ilana Cooperberg, and I am the Dean of Academic Development and Research. I want to congratulate you all on receiving these scholarships. I hope that you are all enjoying yourselves at Vanier College in spite of the current context and that you are joining groups and clubs and feel a sense of belonging here. I also want to encourage you to take advantage of your learning experience and get the most you can out of Vanier and your CEGEP life. Hi, I'm Alina Peru, the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Business and Social Sciences. I would like to first of all congratulate you, all of the recipients of the entrance scholarships, for all the hard work that you did in high school to get into Vanier, and also congratulate you on being able to come to Vanier during this trying semester with COVID. Uh, I know that you've all worked hard under these really difficult circumstances, and uh, you deserve kudos for that. So thank you for coming to Vanier, congratulations on the scholarship, and I wish you the greatest success in the future.